Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, it was requested for me to do a blue and bronzed makeup look. So that is what I'm going to do in today's video. So if you're interested, then please keep on watching. So Hint Beauty Concealer, to act as my foundation and primer. I'm very much almost out of this, which is good because I've got my other one ready to go. Then to set everything in place, I'm going with my 100% Pure Bamboo Blur Powder. And I'm going to set my entire face with this. Okay, for bronze, I'm going with the B uh, Matte Bronzer in 01 Light to try and use it up using my Duo Fiber face brush as always. So for highlights today, I'm actually going to go with the Pixie Highlighter. What's this? It's Pixie by Petra um, Beauty Blush Duo and Peach Honey. So technically it's a blush, but they're both really shimmery, so I actually just mix the two and use it purely as like a highlighter. It doesn't leave like a cast on my skin or anything like that. So I'm giving myself a nice glow. These are just some of the products I want to use up and replace with clean beauty ones, although I've kind of got my clean beauty faves of these really, but... But having said that, these are really nice, the products, the um, bronzer that I'm using, this uh, highlighter and the blush I'm using, they are really nice. So if you're someone who um, kind of still has the mix or isn't maybe someone who does use clean beauty, just use the conventional cruelty free stuff, then these are really, really nice products. I am using the B blusher in Make Me Blush. And for some reason with blusher, I have a habit of kind of stamping it on instead of doing the whole swiping motion at the moment. I just feel it gives me the most pigment. And I'm kind of sweeping as I like push onto the skin so it blends that way. But it's just the way I seem to be doing blusher at the moment. Okay, so I filled in my brows. I kind of fill them back to how I usually fill them. If you watched my last video, which is the me attempting the foxy eye look, I also did that trend where you kind of lift the brows a bit more. And on some people that looks really nice, but for me, I just prefer my brows with the arch and the tail going down. I just think it frames my eyes a bit better. So I've got them back how I usually do them. So I've prepped and primed my eyes as well, so they're ready to go. So I'm going to start off with the shade Dark Brown from Azeo and pop this onto the outer portion and buff it into the crease a little bit as well. Okay, so I'm gonna place this onto the outer portion of the lid. I'm just kind of stamping it on to get the pigment I want down first. And I'll go ahead and blend it out later, but for now, just to get the pigment down, I'm just stamping this shade on. I'm just going to take a clean fluffy brush now just to kind of start buffing this out. I will go with another shade in a minute, but just to start the initial kind of blending, I'm just taking a sh clean brush and kind of doing circular motion on the outer portion and then just buffing it back and forth through the crease. So just like that much, that's all I'm going to do for now. Okay. I'm actually then jumping into Lily Lolo's Mud Pie shade. It's just a kind of neutral matte brown. And I'm going to tap some off. And usually with the shimmers, I always lay down a bit of primer first or make sure it's wet, something that's tacky. But for this matte shade, I don't need that because it's just a buffing shade. So I picked a little bit up, made sure I've tapped it off. And I'm just going to start bringing this through the crease. And I'm going to bring it over the dark brown as well. Okay, then I am going to take the pearly shade from Zeo next on a fluffy brush. And now I'm going to start buffing this out better. So I'm going to use circular motions and just go over these edges. It's just going to diffuse that colour out and also kind of, especially at the top area, make it less intense, bring it down slightly. So I'm literally just using circular motions. So I'm trying to explain more what I'm doing because usually I just kind of say where I'm putting colour and stuff like that without really explaining kind of the techniques I'm doing. Um, so I thought I'd try and like 
explain myself a bit more what I'm doing why I'm doing it or kind of the techniques to get what the look that I'm trying to achieve to make it a bit more of a tutorial as opposed to like I guess a get ready with me type look so I hope you enjoy I, mean, I know I didn't really explain the base bit but I will do properly next time so you can see it's diffused the colour out. It's a lot less intense on the outer portion now. And it's just really helped to diffuse the colour. So you just want to take something like this or like almost like your skin tone colour. So whatever your skin tone is, try and match an eyeshadow to that colour. Um, to buff it out. Or like I said before, you can use just translucent or pressed powder, like face powder. Just to kind of help blend and buff things out a bit more. Okay, now I'm actually going to lay a bit more primer down onto the lids because I'm going to go with another Lily Lolo Mineral Shadow, but it's a lot more of a, a metallic shimmery one, so it's actually only Bronze Sparkle, which I used very recently, um, but I thought it'd work perfectly for this bronze and blue look. So I'm just picking up some of my Lily Lolo Eye Primer. I'm not doing like a half cut, half cut crease or anything like that, I'm just literally buffing it over this inner portion of the lid. Or in a third. It's just going to help, yeah, that bronze sparkle to really stick down. Okay, so because I'm using bronze sparkle from Lily Lolo. Picking some up on the brush. I'm going to swirl it in the cap to coat the brush. But make sure I tap off because I don't want any fallout or anything like that really on my face. Especially as I've done my base first. I'm just going to go along and kind of stamp onto the lid. That's what you want to do. You'll make sure you stamp as well. And I'm going to bring it a little bit higher than my crease because it just made my eyes look a bit kind of wider and bigger. Give the illusion I've got more space on the lid. I actually do. I will blend it out. I'm just laying down the colour first. And I'm just going to lightly tap over the outer portion. So obviously I didn't lay any primer down there so it won't fully stick. But just help like the seamless blend of it. I'm just going to use a brush I use for the pearly shades, any really fluffy brush, just to kind of go over the edges to make sure they are blended out. I haven't put any extra product on here, it's just to kind of help buff that away. I'm actually going to take a bit more of the shimmer highlighter I use just to pop into the inner corner. And I'm going to take some for my brow bone as well. Okay, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Soul Trees Kajal in True Blue. Uh, it's just a basic crayon. I'm just going to run this along the lower lash line. I'm not going to be precise. I'm literally just going back and forth, running it along here. And I'm actually going to pop some into the waterline. Okay. And then I'm going to take the shade Royal from Silk Naturals. I'm going to take it on a pencil brush. Just pick some up, swirl it in a cap, tap off, and then run it on top of that shade. It's just going to intensify it more. And set that kajal. Taking the really fluffy brush, no extra product, buffing it out. Just to make the edges softer. I don't really want to bring it down anymore because it's quite really low down just to buff out the edges. Okay, all that's left to do is to add mascara to the eye, so I'm taking my Big Lash from Lady Lola. I'm just going to really load up these lashes. Okay, for lips, I'm going to go with my Benacost Brown Lip Liner. And I'm actually going to go more of a peachier toned nude today. So I'm going to take Birthday Soup from Lady Lolo, which is one of the vegan ones, and apply this. So that is this look complete. I really hope you enjoy And Thank you so much for the request of bronze and blue eye. I hope it was a look that you enjoyed um and yeah i hope i explained things a bit better as i was doing them particularly with the eye portion i don't know i know i didn't with the face but i'm going to try and explain a bit more what i'm doing if i can um so it's more of a tutorial as opposed to like, get ready with me so i really hope you enjoyed that bit um 
but yeah thank you so much for watching leave any requests for future videos down below anything any products you're loving at the moment let me know and yeah i hope you're all staying safe and i'll see you in my next video